Howdy folks, welcome back to the Eagle's Nest. So today we are trying out the Hoffman Tactical AR lower that you can 3D print. And so far, I think this is probably the best and probably the strongest 3D printed AR lower that you could do at home. Again, this is made by Hoffman Tactical. That's H-O-F-F-M-A-N tactical.com. Uh, he has the files and he also has a, a YouTube channel. He's got a lot of energy, yeah, very, very smart and very innovative for uh, what he does. So this is set up on a DMR style rifle, AR-15 and 5.56. Uh, we'll be shooting at 100 yards. Uh, we've been playing around for a little bit, as you could tell, uh, but it's shooting very damn accurate and uh, it's very, very rugged. As you can see here, the buffer tube is set up by a, um, looks like a clamp. Uh, and okay. aesthetically, it doesn't look good, but honestly, uh, that clamp that's on this actual lower makes it super, super rigid. So uh, if you're gonna use this, I recommend definitely, or if you're gonna print this, I definitely recommend using the hose clamp and getting a extended charging handle. But other than that, my son's gonna take a few shots downrange. Let's check it out and I'll show you guys the internals and uh, see how this thing performs. All right, so 100 yards, got a steel plates and bowling pins down there. <laughs> America, baby. What do you think of that thing? It ain't bad. Not bad at all? Fun. So, uh, I do have this pistol brace on here because I was going to put my um, AR9 upper on here, but as you can tell, this thing is working flawless. Um, the only thing I can say is that the actual mag well. Uh, when I printed this out, it's a little bit tough uh, to insert the mag. Anyways, that's just a little bit of modification on a slicer that I got to do. But this thing does have some brass bushings for the firing pin and also the uh, trigger uh, assembly there. So let me open this thing up. I'll show you the internals. Okay, so this is the Hoffman Tactical Super Lower version 2.4. And like I said, there's uh, brass bushings that go inside. I don't know if you can see it there. I go inside the fire control group and the actual hammer uh, pins. And you could buy those on his website for around $20 shipped and well worth it. Comes with the barrel band, comes with the tools to put the brass bushings in. Very innovative. And like I said, uh, this lower I think is probably the best that I've tried so far uh, for a 3D printed AR lower. Very, very sturdy. And how it prints is actually, as you can see here, it prints kind of diagonally. So the layer lines are going to come in diagonally and um, you want to print this thing at pretty much 100% end fill. And that's how I printed this. This is PLA, PLA Plus from eSun. You can, don't want to use ASA plastic. You don't want to use ABS. Yeah, you can use PETG. He did a video recently going over the strengths of a lot of filaments. So go ahead and check that out. I'll put a link in the description below on his channel and that recent video. But this lower aesthetically looks the best compared to a vanguard lower that i printed on my 22 ar that i made and you can see here on the front the takedown pins those are printed in polycarbonate now i use a carbon fiber polycarbonate but on the kit that he sells he does have where the, he does print it on a polycarbonate blend so honestly polycarbonate blend probably is the best in my experience for printing out lowers uh, it is the strongest it does flex a little bit uh, pla this one here seems to be very rigid but long time, longevity, as far as durability, I uh, have yet to find out. Uh, I have roughly right now 200 rounds uh, through this lower flawlessly. So we're going to perform kind of a durability test and do what he did in his channel and do some push-ups on this AR and actually put a lot of weight on this uh, buffer tube here. Okay. I'm not as balanced as he is, so we're going to do a push-up test here. I'm roughly 210 pounds. And putting a lot of weight on the rear there. You can see it bending. Whew. Yeah. Good so, workouts. Uh, kind of bouncing on it. It's not breaking. That sucker's in there. That sucker's strong. All right. 
don't know how many push-ups that was, but like five. It's like five. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Sun saying I need to work out. Anyways, um, honestly, this lower, I mean, I can mortar around, and uh, this thing is super durable if I needed to. So. See there, that hose clamp that. is definitely the ticket on making this thing durable. Oh, got the SBA 3 stock all jammed up. <laughs> but yeah, this lower I'm pretty impressed. It's definitely gonna hold up to a lot of abuse. All right, so oh. it is the next day. My phone ran out of battery, so I wanted to finish up this video, do something pretty cool. I figured this video is probably gonna get a strike anyway, so might as well go down in flames and do it patriotic. This is a 3D printed drop-in auto sear. It is not registered yet, and I do have the credentials to do this. If uh, you don't, if you're not an FF, FFL SOT3 or an SOT holder, you cannot basically make these. And this is 3D printed, and we'll be shooting this out of this AR, which is now configured in a 277 Wolverine. Now the tool, 277 Wolverine is basically a 300 blackout on steroids, very similar. This is a 300 blackout on the right, 277 Wolverine on the uh, left here. Let's get that thing to focus here. Head stamp, a Starline brass. All right, so the drop-in auto sear is exactly what it is. It's, uh, you just drop it in here in the rear. And how it works, as long as you have a full M16 bolt carrier group. So meaning you don't have a bolt carrier group that it's built out in the back, you have the full M16 style. So as you pull the trigger, your hammer goes forward, bang, goes back, hits your disconnector. What this uh, drop-in auto sear does is when your, when your bolt carrier group goes forward again, it hits this little nub right here hitting down the disconnector and releasing the hammer again. So bang, goes back, your bulk carrier group cycles, goes forward again, right in the last like eighth inch, hits that little chingasso, 3D printed part here, and makes it go bang. So that's essentially how it works. Uh, we'll give this thing a try and see how she runs. The legal aspect of how you can make one yourself, well, you really can't unless you're an FFL SOT3, uh, which I am. So I figured, let's give this thing a try and uh, see if I can hit some steel. Oh. All right, 50 yards. Let's see. Dang, that is loud. Oof. Oh my God, oh, that no. is loud. Is that loud? That's loud. <laughs> that also might be loud in the TG3. Here, okay, go over here. Oh my gosh, I think it's super loud. I get hit with the brass. No. Oh yeah, that is awesome. I can feel the stuff hitting my arm. Yeah, it's just the percussion. But this lower is holding up. Oh my gosh, that is fun. You get so this bag's gonna be a little tight. So we'll get it in there, slam it. There we go. You sure? Slam it all the way up. All the way up. All right, go ahead. Make sure you uh, put some pressure forward. It's got some recoil. That's hard to control. <laughs> and you're out. There. So, what do you think of that thing? A lot of recoil and it's loud. That thing is super loud. I wish you guys were here, man, but. Hopefully the audio picked that up. That is very percussive for sure. Uh, using H335 powder. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try this thing at nighttime. I think the thing is spitting fireballs. But uh, yeah, 3D printed AR, 3D printed drop-in auto sear, Hoffman tactical lower. This thing is an awesome design. Yeah, we are clear by the way. Um, that little ridge you see right here is for the uh, buffer tube, the rigidity. And I think that's an awesome design, a lot better than the Vanguard. So there you have it, guys. Well, folks, there you have it. The Hoffman Tactical 2.4, version 2.4, super lower. This thing is by far the best 3D printed lower I've tried so far. Very rugged. I'm going to put more shots downrange. Obviously, it held up to full auto here. So good test. I can't wait to try out the 308 version. Again, HoffmanTactical.com. Check it out. Uh, go support his channel. Go subscribe. As always, folks, you stay safe out there. Have fun. If you like this video, throw a thumbs up. I appreciate it. 
I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Ah, this water tastes so good. What's so good about it? That's all those liberal tears from all those crybabies watching this video saying, oh, you should not have that. I love the complaints. <laughs> Keep crying. Crybabies. Yeah, I'm going to get a strike for sure. Oh, well.